we decided to leave Taipei for a day and go to probably the second most famous place in Taiwan, Chofeng, which is a famous old gold mining town that was originally built by the Japanese. And even though it is rumored to be what inspired Spirited Away, according to Hao Miyazaki, that is actually just a coincidence that they look very similar. However, you can buy a lot of souvenirs that are Spirited Away themed in this location. There was lots of stray cats, some were friendly, and some just wanted to be admired from afar. To make the day extra special, we collaborated with Chipao 9, which is a fun dress rental shop near the old street of Jofan. It's very foreigner friendly and has a lot of selection for a very decent price. So I'm going to show you around. So we're going to rent some kipo and go walk around Ethan and take some photos and video. So we have some short ones that you can choose as well as um, some shoes they let you borrow. There's accessories like purses and bags and just want to show the variety. There's so many different colors. Although this dress wasn't perfectly tailored to my body, it fit nicely and was really beautiful. They have smaller sizes and larger sizes than what I was wearing, of course, and they offered a lot of accessories for you to wear. I touched up my lipstick and then I was ready to go and start exploring Jofun. Make sure that you're wearing comfortable shoes when you're walking around this town. There's a lot of winding alleyways and staircases and it is fun to just walk around and explore all the little old nooks and crannies that it provides. There's a beautiful view on almost every part of the city that overlooks this harbor as the city is built onto a hill. I often say this about Taiwan, but it is a very photogenic location because of how rustic and old everything looks, plus uh, people really don't mind you taking pictures or videos. Uh, it's just really friendly for people like me who want to create content. After walking around the city, we ended up looking in a few of the shops. There was calligraphy pens and brushes, as well as lots of Spirit Away trinkets and uh, cute gifts if you're looking for something for someone. Apparently really famous in the area is something like giving a flip-flop toy gift, which are handmade in the area. Even though it was really crowded with tourists, it wasn't as bad during the day as it came at night. Similar to Spirited Away, things really came alive at night and when the lanterns turned on got a little hungry and I ended up getting some of the best calamari of my life. This fried squid was absolutely delicious and they lure you in by giving you samples and then you just have to buy an entire serving of them. Many 
After having some tea, we set up probably one of the best drone shots I've ever seen. As night began to fall, we found this old porch on this abandoned house and we set up the camera to do a time lapse of the day to night. More and more people began to pop up as night fell and stores actually started closing down. Many of the restaurants only take reservations because they get so booked up at night. The city is especially beautiful during the day or nighttime, and I'm really glad we ended up spending the whole day here. 